Now that we're outside, maybe you'd like to tell me what you said again. Slowly this time, so you could think about what you're saying. You're a small one to be taking this road all by yourself, dwarf. Maybe you've come looking for trouble. Unless you have a little coin to convince us otherwise. Nothing that concerns you. This is between us and the dwarf, and whatever coin he happens to have with him. Ah, you're welcome to try to take it if, you, if you're all game. You all can't be frightened of one little dwarf, can you? If you're afraid of being humiliated in front of the stranger here, well, now that's another matter. We're not frightened of either of you, and it seems to me you need to learn a lesson. Outnumbered? Well... I suppose they could bring some more friends if they wanted. That might even things up a bit. This matter is between us and the dwarf here. It's none of your concern. Come on. Someone tried to hit me already. Even the newcomer here sees that you're all too afraid to do anything. All right, I've heard enough of this. Come on, boys. Let's deal with the dwarf and his new friend. I always get my... <laughs> Well now, that was a good fight. A shame they had to resort to weapons. Uh, but if they have to keep the odds even, can't blame them too much. Name's Kelgar, by the way, of the clan Iron Fist. I've been making my way along the coast for some time now, stopped in the willow here for a brief fight. Yeah, it's a shame. I was just looking to trade a few punches, then share a drink when it was all done. Either way, they get my coin, the way I saw it. Doesn't matter. They weren't worthy of a drink anyway, bringing blades into it. A friendly brawl I would have been up for, but robbery with weapons. Huh. So tell me, what brings you out along the mare? Roads aren't exactly safe, you know, and they're getting worse all the time. Seems it's your lucky day, then. I happen to be traveling to Neverwinter as well. Glad we see eye to eye. And when fortune smiles, who are we to turn away? I say we step inside the Weeping Willow here and share our stories over a few of the innkeeper's best. So then I punched him in the face for asking, and while he was trying to pick his teeth off the floor, his friend decided to add a few choice words about my heritage. So I punched him too. So to make a long story short, I take pride in what I do, fighting. It's something you can't get enough of, and it's something where there's always room for improvement. If you apply yourself, stay focused, and keep swinging. And that's why I'm headed to Neverwinter. I heard there's a house of monks there. A monastery, right? I heard they'll train anyone just for the asking. Couldn't ask for a better opportunity. Aye, that's the short of it. No stranger than half of what takes place in Faerun. I can tell you that. Well, as it happens, I didn't always want to become a monk. What happened was that the Kalachar, find it. Well, look at this. Our next round of practice just arrived. Well now, I've had a good time so far. And the way you attract trouble. I haven't had this much fun since that tavern back at Bogan's Pass where I was using that trestle table as a battering ram. Oh, look, we're heading in the same direction, and you seem to have more enemies than friends. What say we travel together? Might be able to teach each other a few things. Good. I'd be glad for the company, and the conversation. And don't you worry about me keeping up. Kelgar Iron Fist carries his own weight. I won't be slowing you down.